Hey guys, so I have had a video request that I'm going to finally fulfill. It's taken me forever. Um, the unfortunate thing, because it's been so long, I don't remember who requested this video. <laughs> So if it's you, this is for you. I don't remember who you are, so I'm so sorry. Um, basically, the video uh, request was for me to share with you what beauty products I make instead of buy now and how I do it. I have a lot, so I better get started. So I'm going to start with my face and kind of go from there. So I used to use Proactive Solution. It was a very long time ago. I started it when I was a freshman in college. My face was atrociously broken out um, lovely time in my life so my freshman year of college through probably three ish years ago I was still having bad breakouts and proactive was really when I was diligent about it doing a good job on my face three years ago when I went gluten-free I was kind of just trying to push all those chemicals out of my life my face did break out when I stopped using proactive um, it has since settled down so good and I'm gonna show you what I use and it's really easy you probably have it in your kitchen right now I use baking soda <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> no it's like a magic thing I use baking soda for like everything it's kind of ridiculous um, so what I do with this it depends on the season uh, right now that we're getting into fall and kind of winter colder times what I'll do is I'll take about I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon of baking soda with equal parts of coconut oil and I'll mix it together and kind of form a paste with it and use that as a face wash. Um, it takes off my eye makeup too, which is great, all in one shot. And then when I'm done, I will use either a washcloth or just water and rinse it off and take maybe a paper towel or a dry washcloth and just dry my face with that. And it leaves it really nicely moisturized but not overly greasy. So I recommend that for dry climates. If you live in kind of a warmer part of the world or um, you're getting into summertime in the Southern Hemisphere, just pure baking soda and water has worked really well. That's what I use in the summer up here. And uh, basically I'll do the same thing. I'll just take about a half a teaspoon of baking soda, just a touch of water and mix it together and it forms a paste. And then I'll just use that, rub it on my face and it takes this part of my makeup off. It doesn't work as well with eye makeup, just plain baking soda as it is. So if I am doing this in the summer, I will take coconut oil and just rub that over my eyes, my eyes closed of course, and then take like a cotton round or a cotton ball and just wipe my um, the coconut oil off of my eyes. And maybe do a little bit of a water rinse too and it completely takes my makeup um, off of my eyes, which is awesome. So face wash, eye makeup remover, you have these things at home. Use them. They're so cheap. You've got them. <laughs> you might as well use them. Um, so as far as if I'm wanting to do a more intensive kind of facial or a facial um, mask or treatment or anything like that, there are two things that I do. I will make an astringent or a toner out of apple cider vinegar, and this is the one that I get. This is the Bragg's um, Organic Apple Cider Vinegar Unpasteurized. And I will do half and half, half this with half water in a container, you know, like something this size, maybe I'll fill it up halfway with the apple cider vinegar and then the rest of the half I will do with plain water, mix it up, put it on a cotton round or cotton ball and I'll just rub my face with it and it works really really nicely as a toner it balances the pH out if you're having breakouts this is a good thing for that because it is antibacterial which is great and um, the unfortunate thing is your face will smell like pickles so that's kind of weird um, but it goes away pretty quickly and if it's something that's bothering you you can do this next treatment that I do and uh, all I will do is I'll take some raw honey this is local honey to me I think it's local yeah and I'll just take maybe, probably the same idea, half a teaspoon of this raw honey, and I will just rub it over my face, just on a dry face, and I will leave it for about maybe 15-ish minutes, and then just take some plain water and rinse it off. And that also, honey is a very antibacterial, antiviral food. Um, so that helps with breakouts too, if that's something that kind of plagues you. You can wash your face with honey. If you wanted a little bit of grit, you could add baking soda with that as well. This does work as a face wash to get your makeup off too. So just another option if that's something you're wanting to do. 
Um, and since we're kind of getting into that fall winter time, lip scrubs are kind of a big thing now, I guess. I don't know. So you can make your own out of raw honey um, with a little bit of organic cane sugar. And I use organic cane sugar rather than just plain because plain regular old like in the bag that you can get from the grocery store. Cane sugar is normally GMO. It's normally made out of um, sugar beets or made from sugar beets that are genetically modified. So the organic cane sugar negates all of that risk. So just rub a little bit of raw honey on your lips and then put a little bit of cane sugar and just rub, 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 rub. And then you can either eat it off if that grosses you out, kind of grosses me out. I don't know, <laughs> something about that. I'll just take a washcloth or a cotton round and I'll just like use a little bit of water and wipe it off and it works really nicely as a lip scrub. So make it yourself and it's tasty too. Lovely. Um, so as far as like an eye treatment or anti-wrinkle kind of things, I will make something for that. I'll use a little bit of coconut oil with a drop of frankincense essential oil. Um, Alemi, I think is how it's called. E-L-E-M-I. It's by Young Living. And um, it's just, well, I'm sure there's probably other Alemi oils, but these are the only ones that I trust. Alemi is a lot cheaper than frankincense is, and it works, you know, same idea. It's a sap from a tree. And just mix one drop of frankincense with just a touch of coconut oil or the Alemi oil. Um, just rub it on your face as, you know, like a moisturizer and just leave it overnight. And um, it works really nicely as a face treatment, good for wrinkles. Frankincense and um, those kind of saps from trees have been used for thousands of years in facial treatment. So I feel safe using it, it's very good. And it smells awesome. Your face will smell like a Catholic church. It just smells good, <laughs> so it's just wonderful. Um, okay, moving along. So I do have one video of how you can make your own shampoo and conditioner. I will link that below. I also have a video on how to make your own deodorant and um, I'll link that below. That's made out of baking soda, coconut oil, and a little bit of either arrowroot powder or non-GMO cornstarch. And that's it. If you wanna use essential oils to scent it, you can. That's fine. Um, I'll link that video below if you're interested in checking that out. It works really, really well for me. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's move on to shower. Um, right now, the soap that I use in the shower is made by a local soap maker, all natural um, soap. Sometimes I use Dr. Bronner's too. That works fine. Um, that kind of dries my skin out a little bit, so I prefer the local soap maker's soap, but that's just me. If I wanted to do my own scrub, I do a couple of different options. So the first one, if I don't want it scented, if I don't really care, all I'll do is I will take a little bit of cane sugar, organic cane sugar, into the shower with me, and I'll just mix it with my soap from that soap maker, and it's an automatic scrub, bingo bango, there you go. If I wanna have um, something a little more moisturizing, I will mix probably about I would say about a teaspoon of the organic cane sugar, maybe a tablespoon, somewhere in there. Um, I'll mix that with either a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, or coconut oil, either one, whichever I have close by. And that works great as a scrub that you would find anywhere. I mean, it works just as well as Bath and Body Works scrubs and you can make it yourself. Uh, if you wanna scent it, you can. You can add essential oils. I, um, If I wanna scent it, I'll either do lemon, peppermint, lavender, or I'll do a little bit of vanilla. Any of those work equally as well as the others and it gives it just a little bit of a scent and it's lovely. As far as a shaving gel goes, I generally will use coconut oil. Um, it doesn't lather up like the, you know, the Skintastic, I think that's the brand, or Skintimate, maybe that's the brand, where you're, um, it's got the little pump on it and it lathers up real crazy. This doesn't do that. Um, this is more just like the, the feel of it right, without the lather. And it works just as well as a shaving gel. So that's good, shaving cream. Okay guys, well that is it. I hope that gives you some ideas on things that you can make out of items that you already have in your house. I will be sure to link all of the videos that I have of DIY beauty products below in the description bar, so check all those out. There's a ton of them and you can make more things than you probably thought you could. I hope you're having a great week and I hope you have a good weekend and take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.